What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to move all files from a folder and subfolders into another folder. We're going to move all these files that are sort of scattered within folders and subfolders directly into another folder. And this video is going to be part of a file management uh, series. Um, the file management series is going to consist of um, just dealing with how to move uh, uh, files into folders. Um, if you have a bunch of files and you want to move them into a bunch of different folders, if you want to copy files, and uh, it can get a little tricky depending on what you want to do. So um, I'll be making these short videos um, along with some of the uh, computer vision stuff. So I'll sort of be switching back and forth. So let's just get right into the video. So the first thing we want to do is we I, I created a dummy folder um, for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to show you the layout of the folder. All right. So the folder is called temp videos, and with the, within temp videos, we have a folder one, folder two, and an MP4 file. So the purpose of this script I've just written is to be able to pull out all these MP4 files that are sort of scattered within folders and subfolders and move them into a one single folder. So let's just take a look at the layout of this folder. So the first, so let me just go back. Uh, the temp video has uh, two folders which are subfolders, and an mp4 file. And now let's go into folder 1, which has an mp4 file, and a sub another folder, which is going to be a subfolder, and that has an mp4 file. Uh, let's just go back a couple of layers, and now we look at folder 2, which has an mp4 file. So this is a pretty simple example, but sometimes if you're dealing with computer vision, um, you're going to be dealing with tons of images, especially if you're downloading images into many different folders. So managing all that stuff um, requires a good knowledge of file management. All right, so let's just go back. So we have, um, yeah, let's just go back to the main layer. All right, so the purpose is we're going to take all these MP4 files from all these folders and move them into one main folder. And that's the purpose of this script. So this is the script. So the first thing I'm going to show you is what OS Walk does. So we're going to import OS and import Shuttle. I think that's how you pronounce it, Shuttle. I'm not really sure. But anyway, so we're going to be traversing the temp videos. The main folder is empty because eventually we're going to copy all the files into the main folder or move the files. All right, so this is going to be the uh, temp videos is going to be what we're going to be traversing. And the best way to do that is with OS Walk. So OS Walk sort of traverses each layer and um, each directory. So it starts off with the root directory and goes downwards. Um, I think you can also start from the bottom and go up. I think there's um, arguments you could put into OS Walk. I'll have to look into it a little later. All right. So usually when you when you use OS Walk, you get a tuple which has three different elements. Um, the tuple will have a root, subders, and file. So we're going to be uh, printing root, subders, and files. And with OS Walk, what happens is it goes through each layer. So we're going to be getting multiple roots, multiple subders, and multiple files. And the easiest way for you guys to understand this is if I just uh, run this script. So I'm going to run the script. Okay. And here we go. So let's just, uh, the first thing we're going to do is let's just go back and take a look at our folder. Um, so where was it? Okay, folder one. All right. So it starts off with temp. And within temp, we have a subfolder, folder one, folder two, and we have a file. So let's just take a look. So the root is the, uh, the main folder, which is temp videos. Then it, uh, the subders are folder 1, folder 2, and then the files are this uh, mp4, uh, the regex 10 2.5 copy mp4. Okay, so that's the first layer. So what it's going to do now, this OS walk, is going to go to the next layer. So the next layer, the root will be folder 1, and the subders will be subfolder, and the file will be regex mp4. So let's just take a look. So this is going to be the root now, so we go into the root. So we have a subfolder, subfolder, and we have a file regex1. So let's just take a look again. So we have the root, which is folder one. Sub, uh, the subders is subfolder. Subders is subfolder. Oops. Yeah. And the file is, uh, files is the regex. So regex 10, uh, 10 uh, 10 10.1. Okay, so the next thing this uh, OS walk is going to do is going, is going to go into the subfolders. So now this subfolder is going to be the root folder. So as you can see, uh, the root is the subfolder. Um, there are no subdirectories, and there is a file. 
So this is the file. So now that there now that there's no more subfolders, what it's going to do is it's going to go back to the layer where there were subfolders. So so let's just go back and the layer that there were subfolders is here. So it's going to go to folder two and it's going to traverse folder two, pull out all the files and subfolders. And then if there are any other layers or any other folders, it's going to go to the other folders as well. So let's just uh, let's just take a look at this. So eventually what happens is it, it traverses all the layers of the folders and subfolders and, and it outputs the subders, files and roots. So in our case, what we want to do is we want to grab all the files. As you can see, all the files, um, it traverses each layer and the it outputs the files as files or the third element in the tuple. So what we want to do is grab all the files and we want to move all the files into a folder. All right. So let me just close this. We're going to go back to our script, um, OS Walk. And now what we want to do is uh, we're going to use a for statement. So sometimes in, in my specific case, we only got uh, one file per each layer, but sometimes you, may, you might get multiple files. So what you want to do is you want to say for file in files, um, because remember, it's always returning a list. Uh, I, I closed it, sorry. Let me just run it again. All right, so as you can see, files are always a list. So sometimes you'll have multiple files, but in my case, it was only a single file. So what we want to do is for file in files, uh, the first thing we want to do, of course, is the path. The files are only representing files, but if you want to get the, the location of the file, you will need to have the full path. So in order to get the full path, what we're going to do is um, os.path.join, and we want to join the root and the file. Okay, we want to join the root and the file because remember, these files are located directly within the root um, directory. It's not located within the subdirect. So we want to combine the root and the files because um, the way OS walk, OS walk works is that all the files are files that are located directly within the root. So this is going to be our path, os.path.join. It's going to combine the root and the file to give us the full path. And then we want to use a shuttle shuttle.move and we want to move the, the path which is going to be filed into the main folder so uh, in our case it's all capitalized main all right so this is just uh, moving a file into the main folder and that's how uh, shuttle works it's not copying you, can, you also have the option to copy but in my case I'm moving all the path or all the files into main now let me just show you main okay I'm going to open main uh, okay, here's main. So this is the main folder, which is located within uh, my desktop, and it's empty. So I'm going to put this aside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run this script, and then we're going to see that main is filled with all of the uh, files. So if I run this, okay, so it's done. And now let me just pull main. Okay, so as you can see, one, two, three, four. And now if we look at temp, um, all the files are gone, or the MP4 files are gone. Um, subfolder, as you can see, there's a file here. Uh, there's nothing here, and there's nothing here. All right, so that's how you um, move all your files from folders and subfolders and subdirectories and whatever, and move everything into one directly uh, very cleanly. So hopefully uh, that was useful. Um, I like to take these scripts once I've written them and then just, just keep them within sort of a folder of useful scripts so that anytime I have a problem where I have to move all my files and folders, instead of rewriting everything, I can directly just uh, use some of these useful scripts. And having these scripts, I think, can uh, save a lot of time. So hopefully you, find, you guys found that useful. I'll be making some more videos dealing with um, file management and uh, along with uh, computer vision. And I have a couple of other ideas for some other videos. All right, so I'll see you guys next time.